this is no time bomb. This is actually a digital scoreboard, our project, which I will going to present to you on today's tutorial. I am here and let's count up. Hi again you guys, now let's talk about this. The Count Up Countdown Digital Scoreboard, made originally from the Technological University of the Philippines Visayas, Electronics Engineering Technology SL5A. As a requirement to our Digital Techniques free project, we choose to make this scoreboard. And we've started working on this last January 2013. And last March 26, 2013, it is so done. And now let's hear about this theory from a very smart partner, Gabko. The theory of operation of our project is simple. We have four ICs here. Come on, let's take a look. We used four different kinds of ICs here. The 7402, 7404, 74192, and 7447. As you can see, the button here is pulled up by using a 470 ohm resistor. And in the pin 5 and pin 4 of 74192, IC is input normally high, enabled to make it operate in accordance to its use. And as I press up the, the up button, the flip flop will output low. And as I release the button, it will go back to high state again, making a pulse which will make the 74192 count. Same operation applies in pin 4, the countdown pin of 74192. And here is the countdown button. Note that I have another IC, another 74192 IC here. This is, this is for the tens digit and this is for the ones digit. When the ones digit counter is on 9 and if you press up the button again, it will go back to 0 and it will carry up. Carry is pin 12 of the IC. Pin 12 then is connected to pin 5 of the 10 digit counter. Our IC has also what we call borrow which is pin 13 of 74192. It is when the 1 digit counter in zero state and when you press the down count button it will borrow triggering the pin 13 which is connected to the pin 4 of the other IC. The one digit of the scoreboard will will output 9 and the 10th tens, tens digit will count down. The pin 14 here is the master set pin. We have shorted the pin 14 so the 74192 in order to use only one button. If it is in high state, the, the two 74192 ICs will reset turning them to 0, zero. That is the reason why we pull down the pin 14 with a 470 ohm resistor. The outputs of the 74192 is the pin 3, pin 2, pin 6, and pin 7. These pins work together depending on the output you desire. 7447 is the common anode decoder that drives the 7 segment and these are the 7 segments the bigger the 7 segments the expensive its price that's why we have designed our own 7 segment made up of illustration boards LEDs and PVC film cover and that's how the, the digital scoreboard operates the up button the down count button the master reset button
This is just very easy to operate by using its count up, count down, and master reset buttons as what is stated earlier. Now, as we have here, we have the 21st and let's go counting up. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 7, 58, 59, 60, 61, and 7, 98, and 99. So here guys, we have 99. And you can only count up to 99 since we only have two digits on our scoreboard. And now let's try counting down. By using this countdown button, let's start counting down. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 3, 2, 1, and 0. That is how our count up and count down works. Now what about this master reset? For example, we have 24 here on our scoreboard, or any number. Once you push this master reset button, any number on the display will reset to 0. Let's try. 24 and let's push the reset button zero any number will go back to zero once you push the, re the master reset button I am Hill saying you always make real magic in electronics. Thanks for watching and get less.